Welcome to Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. From Great Lakes to the Harland, from mountains to the sea, there's a hunting heritage in the blood of folks like you and me. With a rut of bucks and a gobble of struts, it's hunting that we love. Mother Nature guides us on this land and we give thanks up above. This hunting heritage is a bond that never fades away. We're your camo wearing family from across the USA. So fill your cup and listen up, y'all mean so much to me. It's time for the show, so go grab your bow. This is a wild place to be. Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hoffman's Hunting Heritage. I'm your host, Bill Hoffman, and this week's show is all about the top 10 products, things, releases, hunting stuff at the 2020 ATA show. I just got home from Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, drove through the ice storm of the century, as so as the, uh, if you believe the newscasters, but it wasn't that bad. It was rainy and about... 10 miles from my house, it got really, really crappy, so I only had to to slow down just a little bit, but home safe, saw the kids. I, my, guys, this was my first ATA show, and you know, I, I told you in last week's show how excited I was to you know, talk to certain people and, and uh, my friends in the outdoor industry and, and to see the celebrities and, and look at all the new cool stuff that's coming out, and guys, I guess I tell you right now. I had a freaking ball. How much fun was ATA? But also, the other thing about ATA is it is downright exhausting. I didn't have one of those step counters, like the um, pedometers or whatever, but there's no doubt in my mind I walked conservatively, I'd say, five to seven miles a day. Can't even imagine. And, you know, the nightlife was fun, seeing all the people. We're going to get into all that. But I, I know you guys that weren't there, and girls, of course, that weren't there, are interested about what's cool and new coming out this year in the outdoors industry. So what I've done with this show is I've broken it down into my top 10. My top 10 items, the best of ATA. And here's the thing. I want, I want to preface this top 10 before we really get into it. I want to tell you first thing, there's no bows. There's no crossbows on my list. And there's no vertical bows. There's no traditional bows. Simply because I feel like that is such a personal choice. And it's not necessarily even being like brand specific. For me, it's just fit and feel. And when it comes down to picking out a bow or a crossbow, I really want you guys to support your local shops. I really want you to go into your local shops, get your hands on multiple different bows, whether it's Matthews or Hoyt or Elite or Prime or Obsession or Gear. It doesn't matter. Or PSE. It doesn't matter. I want you guys to get out and shoot and and base your judgment on what you pick to take in the woods in the fall based on what feels best to you, not what I thought was cool. I shot a lot of bows this week. There was a lot of cool bows. But in my top 10, I'm not going to necessarily, well, I'm not, not even necessarily, I'm not giving you any bows. So first and foremost, I just wanted to get that out there. Okay. So that being said, I kind of lied to you. <laughs> I said top 10. I have a top nine. And then one of them is like a a special category. Okay. So we're going to go top nine products and then a special category. And here's the thing. My number nine is I, I'm thrilled to have this on the list because not only have I been using their products for years, but I've also 
seen them um, step forward and listen to the market and grow and adapt, and that is Dirt Nap Gear. Dirt Nap Gear makes cut-on-contact broadheads, and their new broadhead this year is the Single Bevel HD DRT. DRT stands for dead right there. So the DRT HD Heavy Duty comes single bevel. It's a right grind. So if you guys are, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with single bevels, it means only one side of the blade is sharpened. Um, and what that does is when it enters the animal, it gives a spiral groove that is just, um, it aids in penetration, but also devastating blood trails, of course, depending on the location of where you hit them. So they've listened to the market. Single bevel is what's great right now. And the other thing I said, HD, so heavy duty. And these things are coming in at 150 grains, or you can add their patented, um, modular forward weight system which is another 25 grains which is basically just like a little collar that screws onto the broadhead super easy it just there's no tools required it's just an extra 25 grain collar that gets you up to your 175 grains which is the preferred weight that i like to shoot is 175 grains um up front now i also have weighted brass collars i do 100 and uh, 100 grain brass collar on my arrow so i'm shooting 275 up front but 175 of that is the broadhead again guys that's from dirt nap gear my good buddy tom it was great to catch up with him saw him a couple times during the show and as well out on the town in um, enjoying the nightlife had some great conversations with him and it comes in ninth place for me the eighth place thing on my item is the new helium hawk sticks now, uh, there's a big push in the, uh, in the hang and bang or the uh, hang and hunt or the, the mobile, you know, we talked about the traddle, the, um, tree saddle guys and the, uh, you know, go light, go light, go light. And Hawk Helium sticks are fantastic sticks. And their new sticks are a, it's a 20 inch stick. Now, last year they came out with a 30 inch stick. The thing I like about the Hawk Helium sticks is there's versus, say, like the Lone Wolf, right? Lone Wolf's probably their major competitor the thing i like about the hawk helium sticks and it holds true and carries forward into this new stick is that there are steps on both sides so you don't have to plan which way you're going up the tree you reach your foot down there's going to be a, a, a step there for you the uh, the 20 inch sticks are pretty sweet they are 1.8 pounds each so again you're super ultra light going to go in they're coming going to be coming for sale in a four pack and they're going to retail right around 140 bucks. So, of course, you'll be able to find them on sale for like 119 whatnot. But $139 is the MSRP on them. And the cool thing about them is just like the 30-inch version, they have all the grommets and the holes, and they stack. And they're super compact. And when they stack, they get the rubberized grommet that, that slides together. And they don't wobble. They don't make any noise. You don't need any extra tie-downs to hold them together. It's a great, great product. Again, that's the Hawk Helium Sticks in the 20-inch version. Now, to be honest, I may still utilize the 30-inch version, but the 20-inch version for some guys is going to be a big win. All right, number seven coolest thing I saw at the ATA show, it comes from the Buck Bomb Company. Now, I'm not a huge scent guy. I'm not. I'm not a huge like Doan Heat guy or Estrus guy or stuff. But what I do like to play around with is mock scrapes or even uh, actual scrapes. And I like to put trail cameras on them. It's I like, you know, it helps get you the um, the lay down of what deer in your area. And there's just something cool about a video of a buck using a mock scrape, you know, rubbing his uh head for uh, glands his forehead glands on the licking branch actually chewing on the licking branch and so what what buck bombs has done is they've come out with these scent uh, our scrape generator strips okay and they come in a, it's a three pack and it's basically like the material is like a like a chamois cloth like you would use to um to dry your car and what's neat is is you pull them out of the pack and they're pre-moistened and they're ready to go and they get all the scent on them and, and you you just pull them apart and i'd say they're Oh, 
14 inches long maybe and what you can do is you can either you can you just find a a branch that looks like a good licking branch and, and you can just tie it you know tie a knot on there or you can wrap it around and you can and have it dangle down and it's got all the uh already it's got all the the scent on it for like the uh preorbital gland the forehead in the forehead and then also um it's it's gonna hang there and it's our like i said it's already pre moistened so the cool thing about it is you're not gonna be dripping um dri- dripping scent or there's no bottles to deal with you don't gotta worry about uh <sighs> spilling stuff or stinking up your pack or it's just it, it it takes all the pain in the ass of carrying liquid scent right gets rid of it the other cool thing about it is um uh it is synthetic so it's it's cleared to go for any states where they have like cwd concerns or 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 stuff like that you don't have to worry about any of that um they didn't actually have a price on them i'm gonna imagine for the three of them they're gonna they're probably gonna come in around 25 bucks i would imagine so but what's cool is that that's, you know, three mock scrapes you can set up. All you have to do is wrap it around or tie it on the branch. I'm probably still going to rough up the dirt on the ground because not only does it give it a, a scent attraction to come to it, but it's going to give it a, a visual as well. Now, the other thing with it being like that chamois material, so when it, it, it does dry, right? So it does dry up. But what does a deer do, do when it comes in to scrape? He rubs his head. He chews on the branch. He's going to... He's going to chew on that chamois. Um, that's going to um, reactivate the scent and get that going for you again, as well as any time it rains or, or every morning with the dew. So it's it's kind of like a, um, a overtime slow release product that's going to keep them coming back. And, you know, once you start mock scrapes, they become real scrapes, <laughs> you know, so w- which is really cool. And um, you, you can kind of dictate where the deer move on your property at certain times of the year. So I thought that was something that was really, really cool. The next thing on my list here, we are at number six. So, so we're counting up towards number one. Number six is the scent lock reactor vest. Now I, I wear scent lock stuff. Um, I know some of you guys don't believe in it. Some, you know, my, you know, people have been killing deer for thousands of years in flannel t-shirt. Well, not flannel, but for thousands of years, but you, you get it right. Here's the thing. I like scent lock uh, clothes because I like the quality of the clothing. That's one thing. I also does have the activated um, carbon, activated charcoal, and, and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't hurt you, and science does show that it, it can help you, right? So if it can help and it doesn't hurt, why not? So therefore, I am very excited about this new vest. A vest is a vest, right? But I like wearing vests, and the cool thing about this vest is it is heated and what i mean by that is it has an electronic system that that runs throughout the vest that has three different settings like low medium high and um and it runs all the way down to a cord that's in the uh right hand pocket and inside the pocket has its own pocket and there's a spot for a battery now what's cool about this is you don't have that in order to keep the, the prices lower on this They don't give you a battery. You can use any um, power brick style battery that has a normal USB attachment. So, you know, we all have those like uh, phone jump chargers, stuff like that. And the the length of runtime you get on the heat depends on the size of the battery or the power of the battery that you are providing. So you could bring multiple small ones. You could bring one big one. But um, so there's going to be some... uh, trial and error and learning that we got to do with that. But the thing I'm looking forward to is if you could just wear that vest, you know, wear that scent lock vest over your, um, like your thermals, right. Uh, On your hikes in, you get a little chilly on your hike. Uh, you just, you know, hit the button and it's going to warm you right up, right, right around, you know, your core. Now what's important about your core staying warm is one of the major heat sources of generation in your body is your kidneys. Okay. And everyone knows, you know, your lower back, basically <laughs> middle to lower back. That's where your kidneys are located. And this, this, um, scent lock has infused those wires into the vest to provide uh, more warmth in those warm 
generating area. So there's a lot of thought that's gone into it. The fit and finish is, is perfect because it's scent locked. There's three different camo options. I wasn't really all that concerned about the camo options because my plan is to wear the vest like under a thinner outer layer. That's the other benefit of it. Because it's heated, you can get away without having to bundle up as much. And you can, And if you're not bundling up as much, that means... That's less crap that you're carrying, less weight that you're carrying. I guess it's kind of starting to see a, a pattern here, but yeah, uh, you know, that, that's less weight, that's less carrying, and you're more mobile and more deadly. So uh, there we go. That was the scent lock reactor vest. Oh, the price, the price. They had, they said it would be between um, like 169 and 199 So I know that sounds like a lot of money for a vest, but you're probably going to pay that much money if you got a nice like Kuyu vest or a nice Sika vest anyway, and those aren't even heated. So I think the trade-off is, is pretty good there. Okay, next is on my list. We are going down to number five here is the new targets from Reinhardt. And I thought these were really cool. Now, it's no secret here, guys. I am on the board of directors for the Lando Lakes Bowman, which is my local archery club here. I'm also the um, social media director and website guy for them, as well as the Michigan Bow Hunter Association. And I shoot a lot of competitive 3D archery. So I've shot every single freaking target out there. I love Reinhardt. I love when I go to a course, whether it's on the road or my own home course, and it's all Reinhardt targets because I know they're the best. They're the most realistic looking and they have the easiest arrow removal. Well, new this year, they have a bunch of new targets, but the ones I was most excited about is kind of a two for one. They have a target of a wolf that is chewing on the leg of a deer, a buck. So the buck is like running and trying to escape. It's one back uh, rear leg is sticking up and the wolf's mouth fits perfectly around it. Now you can separate these two targets, of course, and you could put anything you want in the wolf's mouth. I mean, you could. You could put like... um uh, you know, a, a rabbit or, you know, a squirrel pelt or a shopping bag or a rope for Jeffrey Epstein or anything you could ever imagine um, killing. Anyway, the detail put into these targets are really cool. And the other thing is it really gives you a uh, it really gives you a grasp on how freaking big wolves are. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you know, everything they do at Reinhardt is is life-size and realistic. And in, in that wolf is not that much smaller than a good-sized buck. And yeah, it's just unreal. Now, the buck target, its head is like turned up. Its antlers are back. Its mouth is open. Like, oh, shit, I'm getting bit in the leg. I don't know how useful that buck target is without the wolf being there. It would just be weird to have it standing out there in the woods on its own because it's like such an unnatural position. So as far as clubs go, I really do think this is either a one for one, meaning you're just going to buy the wolf or it's a two for one and you're going to buy the wolf and the deer together. But when you put them out, you're probably going to want to put them out together just again because the deer doesn't really make a lot of sense on its own. And that brings us up to a number four. Number four, again, we're hopping back on that lightweight bandwagon, but this time we're going to talk about safety. And I am very excited about this one. I talked with Jerry Widener from the Hunter Safety System. He's been on the show before. I know Jerry personally has been responsible for saving thousands of hunters' lives. And new from Hunter Safety System this year is a harness called the Hunter Safety System Shadow Harness. And the crazy thing about this, guys, it's under two pounds. It's 27 ounces. It is no frills. No straps dangling. The buckles are where they need to be. The straps are where they need to be. It can be weared over your over your clothes. It can be weared under your clothes. It's completely adjustable. It's 100% affordable. I put it on. You could barely tell it was there, which is if it's easy to put on and you can't tell it's there, why are you not wearing your, your hunter safety system harness? Makes no sense. Now, I told you all that stuff. Here's the best thing about it. It's $49, $50 for the most lightweight, most comfortable, most adjustable hunter safety system shadow uh, harness. It, I, for $50, I can't, 
I expect when he first started showing it to me, I'll be honest, when he first started showing it to me, I loved all the features of it. I, I love the slim profile. Even I didn't like the colors of it. It was cool. Everything about it to me said $79. Everything about it said $79. And, well, maybe even $99. And then they'll mark it on sale to $79. You know how companies do that stuff. Nope. $49.99. Hunter Safety System only cares about saving lives for $49.99. At 27 ounces, this is going to be the new um, safety harness that everyone should be wearing. And not only is it a safety harness, it also does have the lineman's belt clips. So you can use it for that as well. You guys know I'm a big fan of Hunter Safety System. I'm going to get Jerry back on the show. We're going to, I know we're going to talk about the Shadow and all the other products he has, but I thought this had to be mentioned. And that brings us to the number three coolest thing at the ATA show I saw this year. And I talked about this company last year when I reviewed the ATA outcomes. And they once again are right up here at the top. We got to give it out to Lone Wolf Custom Gear. That's right. The Diaquisto brother or father and son team of Cody and Andre have remember last year, guys, they came out with the Diaquisto, the Lone Wolf Custom Gear. 1.0 and that was their 7.9 pound tree stand that well, it just took social media took the hunting world by storm of course it's expensive but everyone was talking about it so what else you know it's uh they have a self-leveling capability so it doesn't matter you know if the tree is leaning forward or backwards uh they have offset uh adjustability which means it doesn't matter if the tree is leaning left or right and it was eight pounds what in the world could these guys come up with this year well they just you know no big deal took the 1.0 and made it 3.2 pounds smaller not smaller lighter the new lone wolf custom gear stand comes in at 5.3 pounds the damn thing now it's small don't get me wrong it's small okay this is not necessarily a all day hunt sit type of stand however i can tell you there's a worse way to spend a day in the woods on an all day sit especially if you had to hike in pretty far because this thing is a freaking feather how cool is that and the bottom seat again just like on the 1.0 flips up when you have it in backpack mode and it turns into a frame pack so you could put you know your backpack and all that but it's so small you might just wear your backpack and strap the stand to the backpack and not use the stand as the fr guys endless limits of possibilities again lone wolf knocks it out of the park they did have some new steps i didn't think they were as good as the hawk helium sticks that i've already told you about so i didn't you know break down they also do have a new camera arm that looks pretty intriguing but i have to be honest i don't use camera arms to film so i didn't put it on my list because i don't feel like i'm qualified to talk about it but what you should do is maybe go over to YouTube and you guys can find all this stuff in, in search. And uh, if you really want to see the rest of the stuff that the Diaquisto um, family brought out with Lone Wolf Custom Gear, there's plenty of it there because it was a big time buzz. All right. We got two left. <laughs> we got two left. This next one is pretty freaking cool. And that's why it made it all the way to number two. Now, for what they're charging for it, it better be cool. Number two on the 2020 ATA best of for Hoffman's hunting heritage is the big shot monster video wall. Now, what basically this is, is from Big Shot Targets. It's a monster video wall that um, it's a modular wall system that comes in these cubes and you, and you can put it all together and they get all different kinds of sizes, right? And then it's a projection system that projects a video down onto the target wall. And then, you, of course, you can shoot and your arrow sticks in the target wall and the video freezes and it shows you where you hit. Now, it can it'll show you like lungs, heart and actually puts like a little diagram uh, outline thing on the screen. It's really cool. Now, of course, they have a bunch of different models. And I, I, I kind of warned you. I warned you that it was expensive. Right. So but they have different models that can go from the guy that wants to build one in his basement 
all the way up to a retail store that's going to run leagues and stuff like that. Um, so basically the, the basic system, the basic smaller system, and I, I believe it's like six foot by nine foot wall is going to run you right at $3,000. I get it. That's expensive, right? But here's the thing. If you're a guy that's spending 1200 bucks a year on a new bow, how about you don't buy a new bow for a couple of years because you know damn well your old bow is perfectly fine and invest in this wall. Take that money, invest in this wall. You know, you can put it in your basement, your pole barn, your garage, and you would have the best archery buddy parties you could ever imagine. Now, I've shot these video systems over... Oh, and I, I should have said before I get into that, the, the bigger, more expanded versions of um, this system they they top out at about 15 or 16 grand. So you can go nuts with it. You absolutely can go nuts with it. But for guys like me or you or, or just someone that wants to, and you can even get like for, for an archery club, you know, for an archery club, they might they might drop five to $7,000 a year on new targets. For a $3,000 investment for an archery club, they can then rent out or have this video system as a benefit of membership. I see a big return on investment. I really do. And we're really going to be looking pretty hard at it for the Lando Lakes Bowman. I, I think it, it's uh, something you can uh, not only have fun with, but make money with. But anyway, I've shot a lot of these before, okay? I've shot the dart system. I've shot the... Oh, geez, now I can't remember what the rest of them are called. Anyway, I've shot them before. And the problem, one of the problems I've always had with them is... Uh, the other systems project onto a flat screen, right? And what you have to do is take off your target tip and you put on a blunt that matches the, the weight. Now, it's not that big of a deal, but basically the arrow would go down and it would hit the flat screen and then fall to the floor. Okay, not a huge ordeal. I mean, we're dropping arrows on the floor. But what I didn't like about it is it did kind of those blunts do change the characteristics of where you're where you're shooting and then just a pain in the ass of actually switching all your points out, stuff like that with this system. Oh, and then when you're shooting those systems, there's you and a buddy both shooting. If your buddy shot first, his arrow would hit right in, in the curtain or the system. If it wasn't tight enough would like waver. And then what you're looking at would kind of be distorted or where your arrow landed would be distorted. With the big shot video monster wall system, your it's your field point, and it's actually sticking in the wall. And when it sticks in the wall, the system freezes, and you can you can literally see nothing changes. Now I haven't even gotten to the coolest part of it. With this system, you can do any video. Okay, they don't have proprietary videos. They provide a bunch of videos, but let's say you got a video of your of your target buck on your trail camera coming into that mock scrape that you had set up with the um the the um, buck bomb scrape generator strips that I talked about earlier. You've got that video. You can put it into the projector system, and then you can shoot that buck. My, uh, immediately, my brain's like, oh, I want to get a video of some terrorist, and we're going to have archery fight in Baghdad, you know? <laughs> but they're not responsible for what you decide to use as targets. But um, it does have a computer system to help you with scoring. If you want to do the league-type stuff, it does have – those are all options – um, really, really cool. Uh, again, that's the big shot video monster wall. And I, I really suggest you put it into YouTube and, and just check it out. It, it's, it's pretty cool, but it's not the coolest thing. It's not the coolest product. It's not the coolest release of anything that I saw at the ATA show. The product that swept the show, the product that was the most talked about at the show and the product that I am most proud of at this show comes from spy point trail cameras. Now there's no big secret here, guys. I am on the spy point pro staff and that has absolutely nothing to do with why I picked them. Number one, the spy point trail camera company has come up with something that they call the spy point cell link. Now what this is going to do is it has the capability to turn any non-cellular trail camera into a cell camera. What the spy point cell link does is it plugs into the existing memory card port of 
any trail camera on the market. It then has a patented crushable um, uh, wire that comes and hangs down outside of the camera body. This wire is designed specifically to be shut in the door of the camera and secured so that way, you know, water can't get in. You just go right out the bottom of the camera. And then the cell link hangs down and turns that camera into a cellular camera. So that camera takes the picture. When the camera sends it to the memory card, the cell link memory card is there. It then travels down into the spy point cell link, which then hooks up to the cellular network and comes right to your phone through the spy point app, just like we're using for all our other cell cameras. Absolutely cool. Just imagine you've got your guy that's got 10 or 15 trail cameras sitting in the basement, sitting in the barn, sitting at hunting camp, not being used because they've switched over to all the cellular cameras. Now, there's no bones about it. Cellular cameras are expensive. The coolest thing is, even with Spy Point, if you're looking at, you know, uh, right around 100 bucks, you can get into the micro, right? The Spy Point Link Micro. Still, that's $100 that you got to drop on an- another cellular camera. But no, no, not anymore. The Spy Point Cell Link at $59 has now given you a trail camera. Let me say it once once again. $59. You spend 59 bucks and it takes any camera you already have and turns it into a cellular camera. Not only that, Spy Point is the only trail camera company on the market that has a absolutely 100% free data plan. Everyone else is going to charge you for pictures. Spy Point doesn't do that every, uh, uh, you know, obviously they do do that depending on how many pictures you want, but they're the only ones that will send you a hundred pictures a month for free. After that, the data plans start right around the $5 range and go up just like everyone else is on the market, right? But $59, absolutely free, 100, 100 pictures a month. It is revolutionary. It's what everyone at the show was talking about. It's what every all the buzz was. Honestly, when I started this episode or you started listening to this episode, if you paid attention to ATA at all, you probably already knew that this was the number one thing that people were talking about in product-wise. Okay, Probably the biggest news out of ATA was John Dudley and Pigman going to PSE. But those weren't exactly the biggest kept secrets. But still, that was exciting for those companies. Again, the Spy Point Cell Link camera... Uh, adapter at $59. They've tested it on over 300 different cameras from almost every brand across the world. Again, let's not forget, Spy Point is not an American company per se. They are a Canadian company, so they deal with all, all the security cameras and all the stuff that comes in through all of North America. Not not only all the stuff that comes out of um the... um like the Asian countries and uh, they have a big foothold in, in Europe as well. But for $59 spy point cell link is my number one coolest product. Best of show at the archery trade association 2020. Now that I've rambled on for you guys for about 35 minutes, I wanted to tell you what the coolest non-product thing about ATA was. And that's the people. Guys, it was unreal. I, I was, it, not only did I get to talk to all my friends and, and all the people that I had I'd mentioned that I wanted to before I even left the house the other day and I recorded that episode for you, but just a, a short list. Uh, Byron Ferguson, the, the longbow trick shot legend. I met all three of the bone collector guys. Um, Vicky and Ralph Cincerillo. I had an absolutely fantastic time chatting with them. Tom from Dirt Nap Gear, one of the one of the great guys in the industry. Jacob Hacker from Spy Point, of course. Jacob Hacker, the Everyday Outdoorsman, he's been on the show a bunch of times. You guys, well, I talk to him all the time, but it was still great to spend time with him 
in person. Um, uh, Mark Kenyon from Wired to Hunt. We had a great chat. Uh, Mark Kenyon and I, we're both from Michigan. So, you know, there's automatic, a little bit of bond built in there, but was awesome. Got to see, um, my friend Audrey from Scent Crusher hung out with her a little bit. Uh, I met with, um, um, the Blitz TV guy, uh, former NFL football player, uh, with the last name of Cole. Oh, geez. Why am I drawing a huge blank? He's going to, he's a, he's a big dude. He's going to put a foot up my butt and sack me just like he did all those quarterbacks. Oh my gosh. Anyway, last name's Cole. I don't know why I'm drawing a, a blank on that. But, um, so the Blitz TV guys, um, I, I, I caught up with the working class bow hunters guys. I caught up with Jeremy Myers, the from Scent, uh, Scent Lock ambassador guy. Um, of course, all my buddies at Tacticam, you know, um, Aaron Stonehawker and Ben and Jeff Peel and Paul Kermy and just so many people that, are I don't you can call them big names. I, I you know I, I stood <laughs> I stood right next to Levi Morgan at the QAD booth while we were talking about the new Exodus heads. Uh, Lee and Tiffany were were um, not far away. Saw them uh, and I shook hands and got a great picture with Greg um, Poole from AAE and Bow Junkie Media. That was pretty awesome. And uh, I met up with my buddy Mike Slinkard from Hex. So. I did all these cool things and hung out with the Up North Journal guys. Of course, they live in my hometown, but still, it's nice when you're on the road, you get to see each other. Uh, that was awesome. But the coolest thing people-wise that I did is I got to go to the Badlands Film Festival. And the Badlands Film Festival is there's is a it's it's a total party, right? And it's all hunting films. There's two different categories. The short films, which I believe are, you know, like usually like um six to eight minutes i could have these numbers off but that's what that felt like and then they had the, the long form or the extended version ones which are 10 minute films and, and they they play them and then uh you basically do like a text vote and the winners get like crazy awesome prizes but speaking of crazy awesome prizes the raffles and the stuff they were giving away i was lucky enough i won one of the raffles uh so i won a, a hunt vault case of um stuff I had uh, broadheads and predator calls and in a Pelican case and all, all kinds of a monocular from Vortex. So I had a, some really cool stuff. So I, I got lucky in that regards. But the imagine just sitting in a movie theater. It was bigger than a movie theater. It was like a like a theater theater. Like you'd go see a, like a musical production or, or you like one day you'll fill up to come see me do comedy. Yeah, right. Imagine sitting in there with, you know, whatever, 3,000 people who are all into the same stuff as you, who are all just as passionate about hunting as you and you're watching these hunting films and everyone's just like woo yeah and like uh right before you know that that moment there's the dramatic moment when he the guy's pulling the arrow or, or pulling the bow back on the deer and he's picking his pen and he's lining up the sight and you can just hear people are going shoot it shoot it and that arrow releases and it boom it thunks right into the heart of the elk or whatnot and everyone just erupts with applause like yeah woo it was just God, I was in redneck heaven. <laughs> it was so, it was so freaking cool to be a part of that. The Badlands Film Festival is what has convinced me that I'll never miss another ATA. I will never not go. The Badlands Film Festival is what makes the ATA a must attend event. The Badlands Film Festival was free. <laughs> it was free to get it.